Hey guys, Andy Pickering here. Today's video is the start, right here, right now, of this year's new EP. Now, anyone that's been following me might see I've put out quite a lot of releases over the last 10 years, and that's because I try to do an EP a year. I'm going to do something a little bit different today, and I'm going to present the song to you, talk a little bit about the song, then I'm going to perform it live from start to finish, so you're sort of familiar with it, and then I'm going to demo it with my Tascam 8-track half-inch, do it all analog, mix analog, and, you know, go through the fun steps of a demo where you're just getting your ideas down. Everything's done pretty much in one pass, but it's just to show that if you have a fully formed song like I've got, that a demo process can just be really fun and enriching and just helps you whistle through it and have something, you know, there, ready, to, you know, really take forwards. And it will show you the work that I've put in at the right inside and how important that is. I just wanted to take a quick moment to please ask anyone that really likes these videos to think about subscribing because I'm still getting statistics through where almost 80% of my viewers of my videos are not subscribers. And to really help this channel grow and enable me to keep making these videos, I really need to, uh, you know, get you guys on board and please think about subscribing, it really will help. So let me talk a little bit about this song. The song is called Hangxiety's Home and it's a kind of a zombies-esque tune. I mean, the piano to me is like zombies-esque with a riff like... <laughs> Basically, the lyric is anxiety. If anyone's heard of that term, it's basically when you wake up in the morning with a hangover, you've been out the night before, and you get anxiety about, oh no, I messaged that person. Oh, what am I doing? Oh my God, how much money did I spend last night? How many beers did I have last night? I feel awful, like that whole thing. The thought process is going on in your head in that first like few minutes of waking up when you were feeling great the night before and you feel terrible the next morning. And the word anxiety is kind of a term that's been banded around for a couple of years that I'm aware of. And I just, you know, remembered it and thought, I want to write a song about that. So without further ado, let's get into this song. I'm going to perform it live and then we're going to go step by step doing everything analog and trying to create the best possible demo I can so then we can move forward in the future with a master. Cheers, let's go. Stay out till dawn, even past the moon. But it 
Now I'm going to start this track off, this demo, with some layered up percussion. Which is going to consist of bongos, tambourines, some drumsticks and a shaker. I'm going to do those on four individual tracks and then bounce them down onto one. And I've just got a simple overhead mic there set up, which is the Golden Age Project Tube Ribbon Microphone, just ambiently capturing this. Now I've got the arrangement in my head, so I'm putting this down before I'm putting any music down because I want it to be pretty much as solid as possible. I'm not recording it with any effects on because when I bounce it down, I'm then going to put effects on that. So anyway, let's get down this percussion track. What I'm going to attempt to do now is bounce those down into a stereo mix basically, so two tracks. I'm going to bounce them onto seven and eight. And the way that I'm going to be able to do that with my mono processing down there is just do them one at a time. It's the only way really. So I'll get a mix now up and get some reverb and compressor on there. Okay, so I've set up this bounce. I've got the mix that I like with all the, the panning that I like. And they are going to left and right bus number one and two, one and two, one and two, one and two. One being left, two being right. And on each one of these buses, I've got send and receive here, which basically sends a signal out of the desk through the effects processing and back in in real time onto the fader. So that's then coming down here and I'm compressing, EQing and just a little bit of reverb on the end of it. And the send and receive is here, it's going through all the way through these effects. And then the way to get that onto 7, so 7 is going to be left, 8 is going to be right. The way to do that is out of my desk here, I've got a cable that is going out of the line out each one of the buses has its own line out and that makes it possible the flux capacitor is what makes time travel possible well this cable is what makes bouncing possible into seven there and if i hit play there you'll see that all my effects are working this is the left channel recording and you'll also see it's coming back in to the tape machine on seven so I'm going to hit record and then rinse and repeat and do that for the right and I'll see you afterwards. Okay, so the bounce is done. For a visual, visual reference, I'll just push all these down now and see what we've got. Seven and eight, stereo left, stereo right. with all the effects recorded on them. I've decided I'm going to keep this bongo, I'm not going to record over that, the original bongo, just dry. So I might want to boost that later in the mix. Because it's got quite a bit of depth to it. The Beast is out. My absolute favourite, my J160E. And I don't get to play this too often, so it's always an absolute pleasure. Now what we're doing here is I've got the ribbon mic positioned quite far back from where I'm sitting here. But I'm also not just capturing the ambient sound of the acoustic strumming along. But I've got my amp engaged as well, so I've actually got the J160 plugged into the amp at the same time capturing it just on the same mic. It's a technique that I really like, which you get your acoustic sound, but you get the added oomph from a bit of overdriven electric sound coming out of the amp as well. So let's uh, get on with that.
Okay, guitars then. So there's the first guitar that I did. And there's the inversions. Played higher up the neck. They blended together, they'll be quite nice. Bongo. There it is. So it's coming together nicely. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do now is add some keys and then bounce all these four. I was keeping this bongo, but now I'm going to yeah have to bounce that again just for a bit more room. And I'll yeah do some keys now. Bounce them onto a stereo mix there. Start again with these. Piano now is all set up. Now the piano is just going out of one microphone, direct out through the compressor and in there. Now, if you've seen my first ever video I did, you'll see that I mic up from behind the piano down there with the Electro Voice RE10, which is my favourite microphone that I own. You just get quite a nice tone with the dynamic mic at the back there. You know, when you're doing retro mono stuff like this, it's pretty ideal. Okay, so we're just going in the desk there. Getting some compression down there. And we're going on to track four. As you can see, let's do a take. Basic rhythm trap finally. I'm pretty happy with that. Sounding decent. Okay, so the next thing here is I'm going to perform another bounce down. What I'm going to do is an additional, as it's bouncing down, a bit of organ to conserve track. So I can't afford a track for the organ. So we're all set to be bouncing down those four tracks there. They're going to be bouncing on to five and six. Okay, let's check that out. We get rid of all those now. So the bounce we've just performed. Which is all these elements plus the organ, perfectly mixed as I want them and then with the percussion. So yeah, we're ready now to record over these tracks and I'm going to be bass bass out. It's the whole instrumental part done now. 
Yeah, it's quite nice this uh, Joe Meek box. So, so I used the um, preamps on this for the input, and then the compressor on this was just an insert. Uh, but it's like a nice little opto compressor, and um, you know, pretty damn happy with it. Brilliant. So that's all the music done. Vocals then, so three and four are going to be a double trap vocal and then two is going to be a backing vocal and then that's going to be the whole track done. So I'm going to go on to uh, three first. I've got some light compression and spring reverb straight affected onto it and then straight on the tape there and I'm using my Electro Voice RE10 just here. And what I did wrong Finding, finding someone Leave them, leave them alone Cause you know I'm so bad when I awoke Anxiety Last thing I'm going to do, just on the backing vocal track that I've just done, at the start, when there's no singing, I'm just going to do a little, a few high notes. When the riff's going on, on the piano at the start. And you just hear this piano, and then you can also hear the vocals that I've just done as well. When, before we go for a mix. So I'm going to go for a mix now, and I'm going to mix on to Hi-Fi VHS. So I need to go and get that out of my lounge and get that set up now. Okay, so here we go. Hi-Fi VHS mix down time. I was so impressed with the sound of the recording onto the Hi-Fi VHS in the last video I did, or the two videos ago, that... I want to use it again. It's ideal and I found such a great spot for it. It fits perfectly on the meter bridge of this uh, mixer at the back there. So right front and central I've got my mix down unit. That's great. Unfortunately my Revox isn't really working properly at the moment so I can't mix onto that. And the Hi-Fi VHS, well, you'll hear. It's uh, really cool. So I'm going to patch in the finished audio which will be taken off this VHS digitized and then put into the video live so you're going to hear the full song now so without further ado let's hit record and get on with this mix anxiety's home
society's heart Okay, there we go. Really happy with how the demo turned out. And I wanted this video to sort of show you how the work at the start, having a fully fleshed out song, particularly with the arrangement, the lyrics, and being able to play it live, because then you can just have fun, whistle through everything in the demo, bounce things down, you know, try this, try that. Yeah, it's fine, it's a demo. And it just has that exciting charm about it that you're not worried about while you're doing it because you've already written the song and you've committed to knowing what, exactly what you're doing. Because basically doing demos with all your analog gear, not only are you demoing the song, but you're also practicing with your gear, constantly making little improvements and, and listening to things and trying different things. And you know, the analog studio is an instrument in itself. If you like my music, please follow me on Bandcamp. Link is below. Also, please think about subscribing to this video. This is my begging part. Please subscribe. Um, I really want to grow the channel as much as I possibly can. Before I go, I just want to add that I do offer a remote keyboard recording service where I can record from this studio all of my vintage keys or my Challen piano, anything you want on your records. So please get in touch through my website or Instagram. Um, and I would love to hear your music. Okay. That's it for today. I will see everyone soon. Thank you. Bye.